What's up guys? Right today I'm going to do a QA. and a I asked you guys last week on Instagram to hit me with some of your questions. So what I'm going to do today guys is I'm going to answer those questions for you and also I'm going to cover the big question, why am I no longer in Scotty's videos? So anyway, let's start off with the first question. I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. So here we go. So right guys, the first question I'm going to answer is, when did I start BMX? So guys, I started when I was about 10 years old. I remember walking past a skate park. I was walking on the beach and there's a skate park right across the street from there and I see someone going really high on the vert ramp so I'm like, I need a bike. So I got a bike for my birthday and ever since that day, I pretty much rode that bike every single day. Why do they call me the International Bad Boy? So the International Bad Boy name came around when Scotty was introducing everyone for the videos. And as he came to me, for some reason, I just thought, you know, why not? I'm a bit of a bad boy. So I call myself the International Bad Boy. And then from then on, it just stuck. And I quite like the name, and we're going to run with that. Because it's, well, I love it. <laughs> How did I get sponsored by Total? So guys, I've, 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 I've been around the owner of Total BMX for pretty much my whole BMX career. And growing up with him and stuff like that. So we went on a trip, we went to Feast in the south of France. And we both sitting next to each other on the plane. And it's something we started talking about. And then pretty much after that, they sent me a bike and we went from there. It's a great company. So guys, get out there and get one of them bikes right now. How many times a week do I ride? Well guys, that really depends. You, you know, I mean, I pretty much always rode every single day and I'd try to, I'd, I'd just ride for five, six, seven, eight hours a day, you know, growing up. And especially when it's time to go to contests, you just ride and ride and ride and, and it, it was great fun. Nowadays, I don't ride as much because I've got some other things going on. But I still try to ride three or four times a week uh, when I'm home or if I'm going somewhere with a skate park. Obviously, since Scotty's crash, I haven't rode as much. Um, pretty much didn't ride for six months after that crash and it took a while to get back on the bike. But I'm back on it now and I'm gradually getting my confidence back in riding. So hopefully I'll be riding a lot more. Have I ever broken a bone whilst riding? You know what, guys? I have broken a few bones. I've broke my collarbone twice on the left, separated the shoulder. Broke my hand, broke ankles, you know, torn a bunch of muscles as well, new teeth. Um, that's from crashing when my chain snapped. Always crashing and always getting hurt. And I was wondering what it's like to have a normal body. I've never crashed on a BMX, what they feel like at my age. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't change it for the world. The crashing comes along with it and uh, I've enjoyed every crash. What is my best trick I've ever sent? Best trick, I mean, you know, I've done... Uh, it depends, you know, there's so many different tricks out there. Um, I've always enjoyed doing lots of different tricks, stylish ones. Done like three double whip, that's a real fun one. I'd, I'd say probably the, one of my funnest tricks I've ever done was like the, the, the falcon roll towel whip. I did that over the spine at, at Scotty's there in New Jersey. Uh, I pulled it once and I did it again and I crashed and um, <laughs> I didn't do it again. But it, it was a fantastic trick, it's like an off access three whip you know, coming in super nosedive. I'd say it's probably one of my highlight tricks I've done. What is my most memorable trick? Most memorable tricks always got to be one probably what, what Scotty did, you know, turn up at the do tour and maybe like when he first did the front flip tower whip, that, that was a real big one for me. Dave Mirror's double flip, obviously, that was fantastic, especially for the time. Everyone knew it was coming. And he was just waiting for it, and then Dave sent it and he pulled it, and that was like, well, everyone went crazy on that one. So that, that's a real memorable trick too. What was my worst BMX accident? I'd say probably my worst one was when I did my shoulder. Um, you know, I tore a bunch of tendons and stuff in that, and that took like a few years to heal. It was kind of invisible to the eye. No one really knew how bad it was at the time, but that really put me off my bike for a little while. And then also when I did my teeth, Visual wise, that's probably the worst because you, you kind of look up in the mirror and you smile and your teeth are gone. But we've got these new freshies. So, so we're good on that now. How many bikes have I been through in my BMX career? Now, nah, that is a good question. I'd probably put it around probably a 35 bike mark. I'm not too sure. You know, when I figure it out, probably growing up. I know there's been a lot of different colours. I love different colours. I know I'm on the matte black right now. But it's because I think I've used every colour possible on every bike. So um, I think around 30 to 35 bikes. And uh, yeah, you know, we're going to get a new one soon. What is my most memorable time with Sky? Every, every day we, with Sky, we, we've had the best day together. We wake up and from the morning to the night we laugh. If we was travelling, if we was eating, anywhere we went, we, we made the best of it in the evening times. Um, but my most memorable and my favourite time with Sky... 
But that's a tough one. There's a lot. I would say one of my favourites off the bike was Scottish Pedal when he was in Atlantic City playing craps. And uh, there's a thing on there. It's you know it's a twelve. So you got to write, you you got to roll two sixes. You get a one time shot at it. We kept flirting with the idea, and I dropped twenty five on it. It's thirty to one. Rolled the dice and it came in, so I won like seven fifty. And I just remember us hugging in the middle of the casino, just like grabbing each other tight. It was the funniest thing, and we were so pumped out that we won. That that oh, I'll always remember that. On the bike, just on the bike, just everyday riding together. You know, just when you're around each other so much, just all the little things are so funny. You know, and uh, it's it's an amazing time. We've had an amazing time together. Can I give you guys an insight on the famous Falcon Roll? So pretty much the Falcon Roll was an off-access 360. It started out in about 2002, 2003, when I was going towards a spine and I pulled back super hard because I wanted to go high and I kind of went upside down. And then after that, it just kind of, I just kind of got into the motion of doing it and did it over the spine. Then gradually started to try it over the box and then learn them over the box and just kept doing them and Everyone seemed to love them. I remember winning the best trick in Sacramento at the state fair there, so that was great. And um, yeah, just kept doing them from that day on. Would I say BMX is hard? No, you know what? BMX isn't hard. It's the more you ride, the better you get. You're just committing to it, you know, and having fun while you're doing it. It's always good when you've got your friends as well and you can kind of push each other. That's always great. I mean, I, I, I have a twin brother, so we used to pick a trick and we used to have a little competition who could pull it first. And it's more and more fun, you know? I mean, there's certain tricks that are super difficult, but you just keep trying them, and gradually you're gonna pull it, you know? Or crash and leave that one and uh, move on to the next. What is the best beginner bike in tricks? There is so many different bikes out there now, so many completes which are so up to standards, and they've really got some really cool stuff on them. Really, guys, it comes down to personal preference. When you get a beginner bike, what color do you want? What are some of your favorite brands what your riders are on or sponsored by? And, um, you, you know, just, just how you and, and how you feel on the bike when you sit on it. You know, the most important thing is, is loving what you're riding because that's going to really pump you up, you know. If it feels good, you're going to ride good. And the best beginner tricks as well are going to be, you know, your X-ups, kind of your one-handers, your no-footers, and then gradually move on to bar spins. It's always great to start with the smaller stuff, I say, because then once you learn the 360s, You've already learned the X-ups and the bar spins, so then you can add them into tricks and you've got your truck drivers, and then just gradually build up, and then before you know it, you're gonna be in your flips and your flares and everything you dream of. There's one from Menino Senior, this is Vinny's dad. So, can you get stuffed chicken Marcella in London? Unfortunately, the question is no, but I really wanna change that. If I could open up an Olive Garden in London or somewhere in England, I would. You know, I miss Olive Garden every single day. I miss the stuffed chicken marcella. I miss the breadsticks. I miss the Alfredo dip. I miss the stuffed raviolis. Everything about the Olive Garden, even the smell when I walk in the door, I miss. So hopefully one day, guys, the Olive Garden's going to be in London. Then we can really get down to business. How many breadsticks have I ate in one sitting? Well, I don't know, but I've definitely ate a lot. Once you get that dip in sauce and you get going, who knows? I, I would say I've probably done a good eight to ten breadsticks whilst I've been sitting there with me soup waiting for me stuffed chicken marcella to come out. I don't know if that's an accurate number but I feel like I've gone to town and I know three or four baskets come to the table on that one. How did I become such a badass? Guys that's just, that, becoming a badass just, just happens with time you know, just crack on and uh, do you and before you know it you know, badass is the only way to go. How did I meet Scotty Kramer? Okay so back in 2003 I was at a Woodward camp in Pennsylvania and it was snowing out and I'd flown out there for a few weeks in the January and Scotty actually turned up on one of the weekend getaways there and was riding around with his dad and I kind of said hello and kind of knew, kind of got known a little bit and then when I was living in California there was a contest in Oceanside, it was a Vans Triple Crown and Scotty and all the guys were in for that so we was all at that contest and we were both staying in the same hotel down in Carlsbad and uh, pretty much you know we started talking and ever since that day we became best friends um, we got each other's numbers you know when Scotty was about to fly back to New Jersey and just spoke all the time and then gradually our relationship just carried on going I'd fly out to New Jersey um, he flew to London you know for a contest and stayed at my house 
and then gradually, you know what I mean, got, I, I'd go to New Jersey and I'd stay there long periods. Then guys, what happened, I was, I was living in Pennsylvania in State College and uh, some stuff happened and I was like, you know what, let's go, what are you doing? He's like, wrong, come to New Jersey. And I went to New Jersey and I never left. Have I ever thought about starting my own BMX company? I have thought about starting my own BMX company and I'm sure probably 90% of pro BMX riders have all considered starting a BMX company. I just know there's so many out there right now that the market is saturated with a bunch of different companies. So it'd be super hard to break into that field. But I'm gonna start my own clothing brand. I've got a bunch of designs getting done right now. So keep your eye out for that, because that's gonna be pretty big. And I can't wait to do it. I'm super excited that you guys are gonna be able to get your hands on that. I'm gonna do an international bad boy line too. So get ready. What tricks can I not do? There's a lot of tricks I can't do. There's a lot of tricks I've done into the foam pit. I've given them a go and maybe even done on resi. Then I haven't done them on the real ramp. Uh, that's just because, uh, I don't know, probably got scared. But, you know what, there's a bunch I can't do. Um, flip whips. Flip whips I can do every time. For some reason, never done it on a real ramp. That upsets me a little bit. Front flips. Done front flips. Done them on the resi before and haven't done them on a real ramp. It's just preference. I mean, there's certain tricks you do and they feel good and you want to do them over and over again. And certain tricks that you're going to do and you don't really like the feel of. Um, so there's a couple of tricks anyway that I can do but I can't do. Why do I like BMX? BMX has given me so many opportunities. It's took me all around the world. Obviously, I've lived in the US with it. The contests were always great fun. And just the people in that sport, in that industry, and everyone in that industry is just so cool. You know, you meet so many cool people and you make so many good friends that it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You know, you can call them up and be like, hey, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in the area. You can go and ride with them. And it's just been unbelievable, the opportunities and what I've been able to do within this sport. Can I do Superman suit vibes as good as Scott Mallion? No, certainly cannot. I can Superman, I can't even grab the seat. Scott Mallion does the best Superman seat grabs I've ever seen, so uh, <laughs> there's your answer on that one. Where am I from? I'm from London, I'm from the east part of London. So I grew up in a town called Wanstead, which is pretty much as far east as you can go before you get to Essex. So I grew up there for 18 years, and then after that, pretty much went to the States. When am I gonna grace this with another rap video? That means me and Scotty have gotta put some words together and uh, film a new one. So it's something we've always talked about, you know, doing a number two. So guys, keep your eyes peeled because you never know when that's gonna happen. Can I ride a scooter? No, I cannot ride a scooter. I suck on scooters. Um, if I did ride a scooter, I'm gonna crash and I'm probably gonna get hurt bad on doing, doing something stupid. So I'll stay away from them and I'll leave that to the scooter riders. How long did it take me to get to where I am now? Well, the, to get to where I am on a bike, well, or to where I was on a bike, it's an ongoing project. You, you know, just every day from 10 years old, wake up, you go ride, you just learn more, and gradually you just push it, and you push yourself, and whatever goals you kind of set out to do, you just have to do them. You know, if that's what you want to do, think, right, I'm gonna to go to this place, I'm, I wanna live here. Just give it your best shot and go for it. And uh, trust me, guys, if you put everything into it, you're going to get a good outcome. Why don't I ride vert much anymore? I don't really ride vert much anymore because there really wasn't a vert ramp around. When I when I lived in State College and I was by Woodward, I got to ride vert every day. And obviously, we had the best riders in the world there. Jamie Beswick, I, get, I got to ride with him every day. George Javel, uh, K-Rob. So... Um, it was just a big inspiration to get on the ramp. And I love riding vert. It's one of my favorite feelings when you do a big air. But I just think, you know, it's tough getting on a vert ramp on your own or there not being a good vert ramp around. It makes it tough. So pretty much after do tour in Ocean City, um, I, had, you know, I haven't really rode vert that much since then, which is a shame, but um, I'm gonna try to get back on there though. What is my maximum deadlift? I did a deadlift once. I went to the gym with my brother. I think I did 140 kilograms, maxed out of that, and uh, I haven't been back to the gym since, so uh, 140 on that. Will I ever come to ride Joyride 150? I'd love to come and ride Joyride 150. It looks so much fun there. So when I come out to Canada, I'm definitely gonna come by it and uh, come ride that skate park. Am I gonna be at Southsea Skate Park this weekend for the park and vert series? I will definitely be there on Sunday for the vert series. Really looking forward to that. I'm gonna film, gonna shoot some videos. So it's gonna be a great time. Can't wait for that one. So see you there. I've ever been to Stratford upon Avon skate park. 
Well, I'm not too sure. I remember stopping somewhere once on the way back from Liverpool. And if that's the concrete skate park, the concrete, the, the skate plaza, then yes, I have been there. If not, I don't think I have. But I'm going to try to get up there and ride that place. Do I want to come to New Zealand? I would love to come to New Zealand. I always talk about it with Mad Mike, the drifter. I'm like, bro, I'm going to come and stay with you. So hopefully one day I'm going to make it out to New Zealand and, uh, you know, do a little road trip there and uh, hit a bunch of spots and have a great time out there. But I'll definitely, you know, when I get there. Oh, and who is the funniest? Scott or Big Boy? For me, Scotty all day is the funniest. Me and Scotty know each other so well that it's just, we just have a great time. You, you know, we, we just make each other laugh all day. So uh, Scotty's the answer on that one. When did I meet the Scotty Kramer crew? I've known Scotty since he was 15. Matty must have been about three. Um, you know, Vinny and all Corey, just, just being around them guys for so many years. So I've known them for years. That's why we get along so well. And that is why the, the videos work so great. It's because we've got a great friendship there. What would I do if I had no toes? Great question. I don't know what I'd do if I had no toes. Um, when I've had a broken toe, it's been tough to get around the house. So I'd say if I had no toes, I could be banging trouble on that one. Um, probably won't do too much, to be honest with you. I'd probably need a bit of help. So uh, there you go. What is my favorite BMX trick? My favorite feeling BMX tricks are three invert. There's nothing better when you go and do that three you put that invert in, tuck it in, and you buzz that shoulder on the tire. The feeling on that trick, if that's over a spine or a box, feels fantastic. Um, Backflips back flip, back as well feel pretty good. Um, come off the lip, a good float you flip when you're just upside down. You don't know, well, it doesn't even feel like you're upside down on a backflip. You just kind of gradually come around. They feel fantastic as well. How many chest sessions do I perform each day? Uh... <laughs> Depends how I feel in the day. You know, sometimes I can do two, three, four. Depends how my chest feels. <laughs> can I make how-to videos? I'm going to try my best to do as many how-to videos as I can. If you guys want a, a how-to and want to learn a trick, leave me a comment on Instagram and I'll try my best to film a how-to video on a bunch of different tricks for you guys. What was it like witnessing Scotty's injury? To this day, still, is the worst day of my life witnessing that. Uh, Scotty's my best friend and... Uh, it happened so quick to where you didn't even know what happened. You know, um, when he crashed, until you got down there, you, you, you had no idea how bad it was, you know. I thought he was going to get straight back up, even though it, it looked really bad. And it was only when you got there, you, you realised how severe it was. Um, and, and his crash still it affects me every single day. Um, I haven't rode as much as I would ride, and also... It affects me mentally. Um, not even a riding point of view. It affects me in so many different ways after seeing that and being there in the hospital and having to go through that. Um, but, you know, just try to be strong about it. But, yeah, witnessing Scotty's crash, um, that's something I'll never forget. And uh, it, it's, um, it, 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 it's affected my life for... Uh, it's affected my life every single day after that in so many different ways. Who inspired me to ride? Well, the first person I ever see riding was Stuart King. I was outside the skate park and there was a King of Concrete contest on at South Sea. And he was going like 10 foot above the vert ramp. And that inspired me a lot. That inspired me to get a bike and hopefully one day be able to go as high as that. And gradually built up to doing that. Um, and then along the way, you learn more about BMX and who's in it. And obviously Dave Mirror. Well, he is, uh, he, Dave Mill is my number one. Dave Mill was an amazing person. He was an amazing friend. And his attitude and the way he did things, it just inspired me so much. It, it was great to be able to call Dave a friend and be able to compete with him and uh, have him by your side. It's fantastic. When am I going to play a big boy on a game of bike? Well, I've already played him once. Playing big boy, I think I just pretty much got off the play, plane that day to play him. I uh, just built that bike up, my brake wasn't working, so if you watch the video, I really wasn't riding at my best. But you know what, if I go back to New Jersey, I'll play big boy again. What was my first BMX? My first BMX was a Dino Comp. Um, it was from Superbikes in uh, Ilford in Essex in England. Um, they was like the local BMX shop and a bunch of cool people used to go in there and buy BMX parts. I think Jim Iroquois got bikes from there and stuff. 
and it was super famous back in the day as well. A lot of people don't want to mention super bikes. They're like, we bought bikes from super bikes back in the day. So that is where my first bike came from and, uh, and a bunch of other different bike parts too. What brand of bike do I ride? Well, guys, I ride for Total BMX. So I ride that frame, the Total Voltron frame, which is Mark Webb's signature frame. I've got the V2 right now. Surely we're getting that new V3 frame. And then I have the profile parts on it, so the hubs and the cranks. And then pretty much, if it's not Total, it's Federal. Um, federal pedals, Federal grips, and pretty much just those three companies on that bike right now, and it's the best bike ever. Will I ever come to Kent Revolution and ride? I will come to Kent and ride Revolution with you guys. Um, not too sure when, but I will make sure to come there soon. Right, here's a good one here, guys. I haven't seen my friend Frankie from high school for 15 years. A couple of weeks ago, I was down outside eating on the high street, and he walked past. We had, we had a great lunch together, and he has asked, do I miss the lighthouse fish and chip shop in Wanted High Street? I do miss the fish shop in Wanted High Street. They do the best chips, and the best chip buy I've ever had, even though it's the only one I've ever had, because it can't get matched. So I do miss it, and when I'm down on the high street, I hit that place up all the time. Will I ever challenge Big Boy in an eating competition and a game of bike in the same day? Probably not. I do love food, but Big Boy can eat so much food, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, so maybe I'll let him eat the food, then play him in a game of bike, so then I'll probably win quite easily. Can I backflip? The answer to that is yes, I can backflip, and believe it or not, guys, a backflip is probably one of the easiest tricks on a BMX. Even that looks impressive. Once you learn them, it's zero effort. It's easier than a 360. Even though it's a little bit more dangerous, once you learn them, there you go. You've got them for good. Can I ride a free coaster? Can I ride a free coaster? Yes and no. Uh, I can ride one, and I put one on once because I wanted to jump a, a little spine backwards. I did that, and uh, I took it off because I didn't really like to play in it. So I guess I can, but not as good as everyone else. What was the scariest moment in BMX or near crashes? The scariest moment is when you know a trick's going wrong and you know you're in trouble. Time starts slowing down. It seems to take 10 times longer to hit the ground when you know you're in trouble. So that kind of split second, which feels like 10 seconds, is the scariest moment ever. Why do I call myself an alpha male? I don't know. It was something I just thought about and I thought, you know what? Starting this YouTube, I didn't, want to, I didn't want anyone stopping me doing what I wanted to do. I just wanted to put myself on the top of the pyramid and have no one knock me down. Whether you guys like the videos or not, I just wanted to do what I felt was right and uh, just carry on doing it and hopefully you guys enjoy them. What is my favourite skate park? My favourite skate park would be... It has to be Woodward. I, even though you can't really class Woodward as a skate park, there's so many different things there to ride. You, you can spend years there just riding every little different thing. And it's so much fun, and it's always a great time at Woodward. Everyone there is always cool as well, so uh, I can't wait to get back out there. How much does my bike weigh? The last time I weighed my bike brakeless, it was just under 20 pounds. I think it's gone up a little bit because I changed the chain. So it's probably around 20, 21 at the minute. Uh, perfect weight. Don't need to go any lighter. Um, I grew up riding a bike which was probably around 40 pounds when, when I first started, and I was small. So uh, the lighter they get the better it is, but obviously when you're in the air, if it's too light, you get blown away. So right now, I've got a perfect weight and I'm super happy with it. Do I like Cheerios? I love a Cheerio, especially the Honey Nut ones. They really get me going in the morning. Have some of them, maybe some wheat a bit so as well. Oh, it gets me fired up right for the day. Why don't I wear pads when I ride? Um, well, I wear a helmet always. I always wear a helmet and gloves. Pads, I always used to wear them, and then I hurt my shoulder, and I started messing around when it was getting better. So I wouldn't take my pads to the skate park, and I got so used to riding without them. When I put them on, they felt weird, but um, they do, they stop you when you crash. They, they do kind of help a little bit, but, you know, if you're crashing from height, pads or not, it's going to hurt the exact same, and uh, I just chose not to ride them right now. What would I do if I woke up as a hot girl? I would do what every other guy would do. Every guy knows the answer to that. Um, well, I hope they do. And I hope they're thinking of the same answer I'm thinking. Who is my favourite rider on the Scotty Kramer channel? All those guys are my favourite. You know, every single person has their own different style on there. So, you know, you take Dom. He's super good with the street stuff and the tech stuff. Vinny, super stylish. Corey, just go for anything. Big boy. 
he well he just loves to crash. Obviously then Scotty does every single trick in the world. Matty's super stylish and pretty much can do everything. And yeah, it's just everyone on that channel is just fantastic at what they do. What is my dog's name? My dog's name's Star. She's a rescue dog. I had her since she was like 18 months old. She barks a lot, but she's fantastic. If I could pick three people from Scotty's channel to come ride with me here, who would it be? I can't answer that question because I'd want the whole crew here. It's just, way to, it's just the way the crew works for me. I put that crew up to the way it is and uh, I wouldn't want to change it. When do you think Scotty will hit a million? Well, you know what guys, Scotty's hitting a million. He has done it and uh, couldn't be more proud of him. You know, he put a lot of work in on that. Every single person on that channel uh, has put so much work in to make that happen, to turning up every night. So it's just great to see that's now hit a million subscribers. Can I double flare? The answer to doing the double flare is no, never even tried one. Single flare seems to be enough for me. I'm quite happy with that. It seems to go quite well, except one, which took me out. And, uh, but you know, who knows, one day I may give one a whirl. What is my favorite food? Well, my favorite food is Italian. I love Italian food. I'd eat it every single day. Second to that would be Mexican food. I love a burrito, love a fajita. So anything around those two subjects, is my favorite. Okay guys, and the question you've all been waiting for, the one you keep asking, and I'm sorry that I haven't got back to you guys, but I wanted to do it on a video like this, is when will I be going back to New Jersey and to film with a crew? And why haven't I been back to film with a crew? Since Scotty's crash, obviously a lot happened. Scotty's crash really affected me in, in a real bad way. Seeing it happen in front of me, there was the toughest thing, and you just go into survival mode, you know? Whatever happens, you're just there, and you're just trying to keep everything going how it should, and help as much as you can. Um, and then I flew back in November uh, from the States, and um, just getting home, and uh, being at home, it just made me realize a lot of things, what I want to accomplish now, and obviously my family's here, and my girlfriend's here, everything here is, is really amazing. And I've spent the last 15 years in the US, uh, you know, going backwards and forwards, spending so much time there, and it gets so expensive as well. I know everyone wants to see me on these videos, but, but it's so costly as well for me to go out there and, uh, and keep filming. So right now, I've been back in England, I've been trying to do my own thing with my own channel, and um, hopefully you guys have been enjoying it, and I'm sure there's gonna be a time where I go back to New Jersey and get back on these videos with Scotty and the crew, I will let you know when that's going to happen, and so will everyone else. But for now, I'm just happy doing my own thing here. I will get back there, and I will do some more stuff for you guys with, with them. Just keep watching the videos and looking at the updates. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.